Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up your Astro A50s in a two PC setup, game and stream audio in one headset, one mic, two PCs. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. First thing we need to do is to download the Astro Command Center. Now, when you get your Astros, it's gonna come with a box and in the box it's gonna come with uh, three things. It's gonna come with a SPDIF cord. It's gonna come with a USB cable to USB-A to USB-B that plugs into the dock station, the headset, and it's gonna come with some informational cards that's gonna tell you to go to the astrogaming.com slash commander. So it'll bring you to the spot to download your software. For me, we wanna scroll down. Now, this is a good idea to download it. This is something you do want because you wanna make sure that your firmware is up to date. Mine didn't work out of the box with my PC without the firmware update. If you have Windows 10 or 11, you can also access this here in the App Store and you just look for the Astro Command Center and you'll be able to get this here app. It's free. I downloaded it and installed it. Once you load up to astrogaming.com, the support HTML, it should load you into the Astro Center software. This is for the A50s, so you'll want to make sure to have this one here. Just download it for your PC. So make sure you download the PC version that it should be for PC and Mac. I'll make sure to leave the address down in the comments below. After it's downloaded, we'll just want to click on it and install it like you would any other application. We just want to click next, next, and next. I already have it installed, so it's just going to click repair. I don't want to do anything here. We just want to make sure we install this like any other application. Another thing to note is you'll want to make sure that your headset is actually plugged into your PC and charging on the dock for about 15 to 20 minutes. When I first got mine out of box, I tried to use them right away and they were completely dead so they didn't work and they didn't connect. And I thought something was wrong. I just had to set them on the base station for 15 minutes and that did solve my issue. Also, while I was letting them charge, when I opened up the Astro software, in here it did have updates available. So it updated the firmware for me immediately when I opened it. I think that there might've been some of my issues. So make sure that you're on the latest up-to-date firmware as well for your headset. But once the firmware is updated and they're charged a little bit, you should be able to take them off the base and turn them on and they should work immediately. I think it's definitely suggested to leave them charge up 100% so you don't have any issues at all. So definitely take that with a grain of salt. It's something you should probably do. Just let them charge up all the way. That'll just ensure that you don't have any issues with them connecting or disconnecting due to low battery. With that being said, let's jump over to the setup. First, we're gonna plug the USB cord into the gaming PC and the USB connector into the Astro Base. This is just a common setup. It's gonna come with an instruction form and show you how to do this. And after the download, after you've downloaded the Astro Command Center and updated your headset with the latest firmware, let it charge. Next, the headset comes with an SPDIF cord. Not all PCs have this, but most desktop PCs do. This here cord should be in the box, so just find the cord and you can plug this here into the streaming PC. So this here makes it super easy. This is gonna have like game and voice adjustments on the side. So on your right ear, there's gonna be a, a volume for voice and a volume for game that you can put it back and forth. This is gonna actually change up and down those two different audio inputs. So one's gonna change the USB to be over top of the game and the other one's gonna be the voice, which is gonna be the streaming PC. So this is a one way that you can have two sources inputs into one headset. So the A50s do have that advantage over a lot of different headsets. This here base allows for more than one input and there's an aux as well that you can plug anything else into. But the problem I had with it is it introduced static to my headset immediately. So I noticed that right away. So I unplugged the aux cord and I decided to go with the SPDIF because it was really clean and it worked right away. All I had to do was make sure that I plugged the SPDIF cord into the PC and then into the in port on the back of the dock for the Astro A50s. So just the port on the back that says input, that's the one we wanna make sure we put it on so that we're gonna get the sound from the PC. So, and that's gonna let you have both sounds in your ears. So from both PCs, you'll have the sound in the single headset. If you want music, like I said, you can add the aux, but that was a little bit of a problem. I had quite a bit of static from it. Like, in my opinion, the Astro Bass has garbage noise in the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Make sure that you're careful with that. The SPDIF is definitely a cleaner audio route to go. So I definitely would pick that if you have the option. 
This next part is a bit tricky. In the gaming PC, we're gonna have to go through some sound settings. So we're gonna close all this here down. This is all set. There's a few things in here we're gonna come back to later for the microphone. The side tone is when you have your microphone down, this is how much you hear yourself. If you turn it all the way down, you won't hear yourself. And if you turn it all the way up, you'll hear yourself. So that's one setting that took me a little while to, to set. We'll come back to this here later on. But we're gonna go down here and we're gonna open up the sound settings by clicking here and going to sound settings. Now, currently I have the speaker set because I don't have the headphones on my head yet. And the microphone is set to the Astro A50 voice. We want the A50 voice. We do not want to use the line. The line is going to have what's coming through the headphones and the microphone at the same time. So we definitely don't want that. Up in here in our output, we definitely want to change it to the headphones, earphones, Astro A50 voice. We want this one here to stay the same in, in the system, in the Discord, unless you have NVIDIA broadcast set. So if you have NVIDIA broadcast, open up NVIDIA broadcast and you'll be able to set your microphone to the headset microphone Astro A50 voice. That's definitely the one that you're going to want to select. I'm going to leave it as my stock one because I'm recording right now. After that, we're going to scroll all the way down here to more options. We're going to click more options. And when it opens up in here, the playback device, we want to right click this one here and click default. We want to make sure that the headphones, earphones, Astro A50 voice are the ones that are set to your default. That's just so we're going to be able to hear the sounds all through the headset. Now over in the recording, if you're a two PC setup because you're streaming, there's two things in here we're going to need to do. So we want to make sure that we set the headset, microphone, Astro A50 voice to the default so that that's coming in. I have more than one microphone, so that's it makes it a little bit more complicated. But if these here disconnect and you still want to make sure that your stream can hear your computer sounds, we want to go to the stereo mix, go to properties. In the listen tab, we want to make sure we're listening to and send it to AVT, GC, or if you have an Elgato capture card or depending on what you have, make sure that the mix is listening to and send it to your your capture card. So in this drop down, find your capture card and send it to your capture card. This is going to capture everything on your speaker. So if your headset dies midstream, it's still going to send all of the sound over to your streaming PC through the capture card. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to do the same thing to this here line input. We're going to click on properties, go over to the listen to, click the listen to and send it over the capture card as well. For me, that's AVT GC uh, uh, 573. This here is the Aver Media capture card for me. If you have a different one, you'll have to make sure that you find the one that you have, select it and click OK and apply. Once that's set, these here both should be sent over to the PC. So you can give that a test by checking your volume. For me, I can just click on the volume right here. I see that it's capturing perfectly fine over on my second PC. I'm streaming everything from the second PC right now. I, I'm setting it up currently as I'm using it. After that's done, you should be good. We're just going to click OK and close this for now. That's all you should need to do in there. Just make sure that everything is set correctly and make sure that your default system is set to your headphones and test it to make sure you hear them. You might have to select the other one that's there. Make sure that you hear something, have something playing music. I find that a good way to test them and make sure that they're on. If they don't, sometimes you need to set them back on the base and then pick them back up and put them on just so that they can repair again. The next thing that we're going to need to do over on the streaming PC the last two things that we need to do on the streaming PC is we're going to need to change the sound device to the digital output. The digital output is a SPDIF or the SPDIF connection. So over there, we're just going to select the sound. We can click on it just by clicking on it, select where it has speakers and click the real talk digital output. Now this here is the SPDIF. Like I said, this will go to the headphones as well. Once it's selected, you'll be able to hear all your alerts and everything else from your streaming PC. So I find that super convenient. I have both windows open. I have a two PC setup. I find this here works perfectly good. Now I can hear all my alerts and everything from my streaming PC. I find that super convenient. And the next thing that you're going to want to do after that set, you want to make sure that you mute your desktop audio. You want to mute your audio because when you're using your headset, the audio from your stream is going to come through your headset from your desktop audio. So your stream is going to hear it twice because your headset audio, your microphone, and what you hear is going to come through the video capture device as well. So if something comes through the desktop, like your sound alerts, it's going to come through both spots. So make sure that you mute your desktop audio in OBS. This will prevent you from getting double sounds. Your alerts will still work because everything coming through your ear is going to get picked up in the video capture device. So definitely keep that in mind. That's one thing to make sure that you keep set. Make sure that you mute your desktop and anything you hear in your ears is definitely going to come in the video capture device. So, so you don't have to worry about what you're going to lose. You won't lose anything if you mute the desktop audio in OBS because the desktop audio, like I said, is being sent to your Astro A50s and everything going through your headset is being sent from the 
the main PC, the gaming PC, so your capture card. So it's definitely going to pick up everything that you hear. And this is because it's sending the sound to the headset, then passing it through to the capture card. But after you do that, you're done and set to go. If you're interested in more 2PC setup content, you can check out my other videos, like my one mic and two PC setups I do with the Focusrite pass-through and audio pass-through with the Focusrite. So if you're looking for more of that type of content, definitely check it out. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.